Everyone on Twitter and YouTube overcomplicate daily bias. All you need to be looking for are fair value gaps and order flow. Today, we will finally simplify your trading and let me show exactly what I mean. So you might be asking Loz, how do we find the right dealing ranges and the right fair value gaps to use for daily bias? And how do we go about this? So let's dive straight into this, okay? You can see we have GBP CAD on your chart, which is not a pair I usually trade, but for this example, I want to show you that this works on any pair, okay? As long as you can find an expanding pair, this works. What we want to be looking for in the pair is we want to have a clear dealing range and then be anticipating an expansion leg, okay? So let me dive into this bit of price action here. You can see, we create a low in the market down here. We rally up and take out a high. We come down and take out this low into this order block here. This is our order block, extend that out in time, and then we rally from there, okay? Once again, we rally, and now, once we break this high, this level here, these two up close candles become our breaker block because we have a low, a high, low, a low. And then once we create the higher high, this becomes our breaker block. The other component I told you to look for is order flow. Okay. To identify correct order flow, we also need a correct dealing range. Now a dealing range is defined as a low that took out sell side liquidity and a high that took out buy side liquidity. So within this bit of price leg here, I want you to look, what would you say is our dealing range? Okay, now think about the definition I just gave you. In this price leg, what is our dealing range? I'll give you a second or two to work that out. Pause the video. Okay, hopefully I've given you enough time to pause now. If we take a look down here on this low that was made on the 10th of May, okay, we took out sell side liquidity with that, okay? We then rallied up. All of this is taken out by side liquidity. Okay, there's buy side liquidity there. And as we pump higher and create highs, retracements, rally them highs, we're also taking buy side liquidity out. So from here to here, this becomes our dealing range, right? So as you all know, we want to be selling short in a premium and we want to be longing in a discount. So once we create this dealing range and then we start to come down, we can now anticipate a retracement back into a discount, even though we're overall bullish because we're in a premium of this dealing range and we have displacement. OK, so this is our dealing range. We've had displacement. So the logic is there to frame a short trade inside this for value gap because this fair value gap gave us enough displacement to confirm the idea. Where would be our first target? Our first target would be below this low and it lines up with a discount, okay? So these days in here, you can be selling short, okay? There's your daily bias, all framed through logic. Let's say you were too scared as a new trader to take that short and you wanted to trade in line, strictly in line with order flow. Let's wait for a retracement into this. Remember, we have this breaker block and we have this dealing range. This breaker block lies in the discount of this dealing range, which means it overlaps. So we, we're overlapping a breaker block here with our discount level. We wait for a retracement into here. Once we start to consolidate here, we can anticipate, if I outline this consolidation and make it obvious for you, we can begin to anticipate that price will take one stab lower before moving higher, okay? We've outlined the logic and the bias that we want to go higher now. So what do we wait for? We wait for confirmation in the form of what? Either a market structure break or a change in a state of delivery. When we begin to consolidate after touching a discount and equilibrium of this price swing and our dealing range, we can, price cannot reverse from a consolidation, okay? So we can't consolidate and pop up like that. We have to take another deep, another dive lower, sorry, with this candle, take out the sell side from these two candles, and then we get our change in a state of delivery. This candle closes above this one, okay? This becomes our order block. Now, 
look at the logic there. This is daily bias. Okay. Now our daily bias is bullish until where? Until we take out the buy side liquidity above this dealing range high. Because we've, this is simple ICT strategies. We've traded back into a breaker block inside of a proper dealing range discount. And now the next logical target is any premium level. Okay. So what is a premium level here? Well, obviously we have the buy side liquidity above that high. Okay. But also if we take out this here, and I reverse it, you can see that we're trading in a discount of this range. Why this range? Well, think about this now. We took out buy side liquidity here and we took out sell side liquidity below this low. So we also have another dealing range. This is our parent dealing range, okay, from here to here. But we also have a child swing. We have a child, I relabel it a child swing because it is inside of the parent dealing range, okay? So in this child swing, are we in a discount or a premium? Well, when we're trading down here and we've given the change in the state of delivery, now the algorithm can start delivering buy side, we're still in a discount. We're in a discount of this swing and of this child swing. Remember that, okay? So any down close candles now should support price to go higher. And you can see that is exactly what happens. Down close candle gets closed above, starts to rally higher. We print down close candles again. Notice these are not violated. The lows of these down close candles are never violated. Okay. We then create a fair value gap inside of what? At equilibrium of this price swing. So we're still in a discount. Once we have this displacement up and then we get this candle, anticipate this fair value gap to hold because it's still in a discount of this swing. Okay, do you see how we're framing logic and pairing certain price swings with the other to frame a daily bias for the next few weeks or days? Okay, so you can see since we got this change in the state of delivery, we are anticipating higher prices from here. We have one day, two day, didn't give us a higher, an up close day, sorry, but we traded into one. There's an up close day, there's a indecisive day, there's a strong up close day. And then we can anticipate a retracement back into this because price would need to rebalance some of this. And it does up close day, up close day, up close day, all until we reach the buy side liquidity above that high. Okay. How hard is that? That is what I ask you. All you have to do, see the tricky part about daily biases, all you have to do is find the right market. That's all it is. Or wait for your market to present the right setup. That's all daily bias is. But most of you can't do that. Because most of you can trade like this. Okay, most of you know these concepts. You know what a breaker block is, you know what a dealing range is. And you know what a child swing is now. Also, okay, I will expand on this parent and child price swing topic if you want me to. Okay, no one really talks about this in the ICT space. So if you want me to expand on this, and I kind of found this through my own study, okay, ICT has hinted at it before, but I did work this out through my own study. If you want me to expand upon this, I can in another video. Just let me know in the comments down below, but hopefully I shed some light on daily bias and how simple it really can be as long as you find the right market to trade in, okay? So with that being said, that brings us to the end of the video. If you did enjoy this video, please drop a like and drop a comment below telling me you enjoyed it. Check out the links to my socials in the description below. I'm always active on there and subscribe if you're new as always. And yeah, thank you as always for watching. I will catch you in the next video.